you should you guys should never need to buy any more uh, action figure hands at all i mean we got piles of hands so we got lots and lots of uh, these things for all of our different uh, characters in this film so what's going on everyone and welcome back to tree beards toy box and today we're going to be taking a look at another figure from the upcoming Marvel film Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. And today we're looking at the man himself. And this is the brand new Marvel Legends Shang-Chi figure from Hasbro. And he is part of the Mr. Hyde Builder figure. But I gotta tell you, I'm only focusing on the movie figures of this line. So I'm skipping on the Iron Man and oh i forget the other character's name but the other figure in the line uh, i'm going to be skipping on those two and i will probably end up selling or giving away the builder figure pieces that i have from the uh, movie figures so we've already taken a look at katie which was the target exclusive and now we're going to take a look at shang chi and here's the front of the box and as you see here, we have lots of hands, which is awesome. And they did talk about that in the um, the live stream they, they did the other day that Hasbro did with the uh, Marvel team. So I think it was Dwight talking about all the uh, hands that they were going to be including. Uh, but anyways, we get uh, the Legends up here. Uh, the Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. And let's see here... Up at the top, we get that nice uh, Shang-Chi symbol there. And let's go ahead and look at the side here. Get that on there without knocking anything over. And see there. And let's get a look at the back. We get a nice image there. And we get a bio, and I'll read that real quick for you. It says, Shang-Chi. Trained since childhood by the mysterious Ten Rings organization, Shang-Chi must confront the past he thought he left behind when he is drawn back into his father's web. All right. Well, I hope that I like this movie a lot because based on the trailer, I have been really excited about it. I don't know what it is, but I think that it looks like a really good movie. Um, I hope that it doesn't disappoint. So I'm going to try and work on my expectations. But so far, I love the trailer. I love all the figures. I'm all in. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get him open and take a look. So here is Shang-Chi out of the packaging. And I love this figure. I love this figure so much that this is actually the second uh shang chi figure that i've bought and i got two now i couldn't resist i saw him and uh, i had to pick him up um so there are some really cool things happening with the sculpt um it's all brand new by the way and there are pinless joints on the legs but for some reason they did not go with pinless on the arms and that's actually like kind of my only complaint because they went with black pins instead of going with a color that even closely resembled his outfit or his uh not the outfit but the shirt um because the black goes with his pants but not with the uh, shirt he's wearing so he does have these awesome sculpted lines in here and all this detailed work if you can see that in there and there's also some uh, black lines painted up here in the details. And then it's, I at first I thought it was just from the, uh, like my eyes deceiving me from the black, but it's actually a slightly different shade of red at the top of the chest there and a little bit on the coming down on the arms. Right there. Not really on the back, but he does have that black. And there's just lots of nice sculpting work on his shirt. 
The photo reel looks good. Digging the shoes. Black pants look nice. Yeah, they did a really good job on this figure. And the paint's pretty good. Um, I don't see any issues. Like nothing major. Actually looks pretty good. Yeah. Set him there. And let's go ahead and look at his accessories. <clears throat> so he gets, um, let's see here. Three sets of hands. He's got the ones that are the, uh, the grip hands that he comes with. And then he comes with these hands kind of open, kind of fighting hands. And then he also comes with these hands. And these are all kind of different hands than we usually have gotten with figures, so it's awesome. Not only are we getting a lot to choose from, but we're getting some, some different choices than we have normally gotten in the past. So, yeah, these look really cool. So we get those, and then we get this fighting staff of his. And there's some brown for the handles and there's some really nice like little details it's hard to see there on camera hopefully you can see that there and then it's kind of a grayish silver there's almost like a I don't know there's I want to say green but I'm not sure it is kind of greenish, greenish, yellowish mixed in with the silver. I don't know. It's hard to tell. You'll just have to see. Yeah, it's pretty nice. And that's what he comes with, which is pretty decent. So let's go ahead and take a look at his articulation. Um, and I, I do like his articulation. There's one complaint I had. And I wish that they would have added butterfly joints. Um, I love that we get the butterfly joints on all of the, the Joes. And actually, we've been getting them on most of the new Black Series figures. So it would be nice to see them here, especially on this wave. These figures need some awesome poses. So, yeah. Um, but anyways, we get the, uh, it is a ball peg at the top, so depending on where you move it, you are going to get a little bit of gappage, um, but that just depends on how far you move it. You do, you do get a lot of range, um, but as far as photos go, you'll want to watch where you pose it just to make sure you don't get that gap in your pictures. And then we get the, uh, the hinge and rotation at the, uh, shoulder. It goes up about that high. And then we get a bicep. Yes. Double jointed elbows. And hinge and swivel at the wrist. Clickety click. Clickety click. Uh, let's see, um, and both wrists go the same way, back and forth as opposed to up and down. And then he gets this pretty decent crunch there, like that, and the uh, waist swivel, which at first I thought, and it still is kind of weird, I don't hate it, but the cut there, I think they could have used like an overlay piece and it would have been a little better, but that's just my opinion. Um, and then he's got 
some decent hip movement not back so much but definitely forward uh, we get the thigh and we get the pinless knees and they are double jointed and he can kick his own butt yeah kick that booty and we get the hinge the rocker and everything at the ankle so we get some decent movement there yeah and that's gonna do it for articulation so now I am going to uh, get some uh, maybe try some different hands on here <clears throat> and they're usually pretty easy. You can use a hair dryer if you want. Normally I would, but it's they're moving out. I'm moving along pretty good. They're not too tight. Yeah. And here click there. There's these. Yeah. yeah, I'll take some photos. Yeah, I love this figure. Let's see, let's try the other hands. And so, uh, yeah, after this review, I'm going to be reviewing, I think it's pronounced Xiling. It's uh, his sister. And that will be next up. And then the Death Dealer and his father are on their way from Hasbro Pulse. So... Definitely going to have those two up over the weekend because I really want to focus on Star Wars for next week, being the week of May the 4th. So I didn't think I was going to review this wave, but I really like these movie figures. So let's see. Let's see, what do we want to do with these hands here? What kind of craziness can we get him into here? Get something maybe resting on that wall. Ah. I don't know, I'm going to take some pictures here at some point, like I usually do for the end of the video. There we go. Yeah, these hands are really cool. They're just different than what we've usually got. They're like pinching kind of there. Anyways, I'm just kind of wasting time now. I guess I should get off here and get on to the next review. So, anyways. Oh, we should show him with his staff at least. Right? 
Let's see here. And I always forget to do it on camera when I'm trying to do this stuff. I don't really know how he's going to use this because the uh, movie's not out yet. Yeah, let's see. Maybe something like this. Or not. Oh my goodness. There we go. There we go. All right. So, yeah, yeah, and there you have it. Uh, so yeah, this has gone on too long. Let's wrap it up here. Um, I love this figure. I highly recommend this figure. He should be pretty easy to find. Um, and that's awesome. I love the, uh, the fact that they're getting more of these out. And I really hope this movie kicks ass because I, uh, I think the trailer was, uh, was awesome and it looks different. It looks like something we haven't seen yet in the MCU. So I'm very excited about that. Um, some new characters that I don't know anything about. I'm very intrigued. And I think Hasbro did a great job with this Shang-Chi figure. Um, you guys killed it. Uh, minus the fact that for some reason you gave him black pins on his red shirt. So, other than that though, amazing figure. And if I were going to rate it with a number... I would, I'm going to go ahead and give it a 10 out of 10. Like I said, I love it. And that's what I'm going with. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Um, I know we're almost at a uh, hundred subscribers over here and that's a pretty big deal. Pretty stoked. It's, it's, it's exciting. Um, I know it's not that big a deal. It's not a huge number, but it's still, it means a lot. And I really appreciate all you guys watching and, uh, and checking out the channel. So uh, yeah, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if you pick this figure up or if you're just going to pass, whatever. Uh, hope you're all doing well, and until next time, take good care.